In this video, I want to put these numbers into ascending order. Now, I've chosen in each of these examples four fractions where the denominators are not the same, so you're not comparing like for like. So you need to find some way of either getting all the denominators the same, which in this case is quite fiddly, um, or you convert them all to decimals, which is going to be a lot easier. Now, you should be able to convert all of these into decimal um, by hand, okay? using uh, either prior knowledge, uh, where you know what these are as decimals, or uh, using the uh, short division method, or a similar division method. So if you want to look at short division and how that works, I do that in the next section. For the time being, we're just going to use a calculator to do it. Okay, because the whole point of this is knowing how and the process um, or what you need to do to get them into order. Okay, but the fundamentals of actually how you do it by hand we will deal with later. Okay, now one thing to take note of is that when you are converting a fraction into a decimal, you do the numerator divided by the denominator. And on some calculators, when you do that, so let's take two fifths for example, if you type two divided by five into your calculator, you may get two over five. It just tells you it as a fraction, which is obviously not what we want. We want to convert it into a decimal. Now, on this calculator that I use, the Casio FX991EX class whiz, looks like this, um, it does precisely that. So in order to convert it into a decimal, there is a button uh, just above the, the delete button that, press, that looks like this. So it has an S and then a D. Okay. So this button on your calculator should convert it from fraction to decimal and back again. So if I press the SD button, it'll convert it into 0.4. Okay, so that's how you can get around it. So one half is 0.5, we know that. Two fifths on your calculator, 0.4. Three tenths is 0.3. One eighth as well, maybe one that you know, maybe you don't. One divided by eight is 0.125. So that means that the smallest is one eighth. The next largest is three tenths. The next largest is two fifths. And the next largest is one half. Okay, just comparing the decimals. Right, let's take a look at example number two. So again, I'm going to convert them into decimals. So minus eight thirds. So minus eight divided by three, I'm going to press the SD button, and on my calculator, you get minus 2.6666666. What, ha what the calculator is doing is it's filling up its display, but it rounds the number um, at the very end because it isn't exactly what you see on your calculator. Your calculator is lying to you, essentially. It's actually minus 2.6666666666666 forever, and it recurs. So this is minus 2.6 recurring and we put this dot above the six to say that the six repeats forever. Then we've got minus nine quarters so minus nine divided by four is minus 2.25. Okay so that's a terminating decimal. Right minus seven halves is minus 3.5 and then you've got minus 12 over seven so minus 12 divided by 7. Now you should get on your calculator minus 1.714285. And then it goes 714. Now it doesn't go any further than that. Because actually what's happening, uh, the calculator can only show so much on its display. What's happening is that you're getting 714285. 
714285. This portion here repeats itself over and over again. So that is the bit that recurs. So to identify that these six numbers now repeat over and over and over again, just like we put a dot above the six, we put a dot over the first of the numbers and one over the last. And that identifies that these six numbers now repeat themselves indefinitely. Okay, so these are both recurring decimals. Okay, so now we should be able to write them in order of size. So we first of all need to go with the most negative, which is the minus 3.5, so the minus 7 halves will go first. Now, the next most negative is the minus 2.6 recurring, so minus 8 thirds. Then minus 2.25, which is minus 9 quarters. Then the minus 1.7142857142857142857, 1 etc. So the minus 12 sevenths. And now they are in size order, in ascending order, from the smallest to the largest.